Welcome, this is the energy vibration. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry, energy vibration reading for um, the Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the month of June. Um, let's see what's happening for you, Tauruses. The month has four weeks, and it's a month where you guys can use the energy because the Virgos, the energy of balance, it is a hurt month for you guys. So this is going to be good. I want to say to each and every person, uh, be, um, please check out the extended readings because the extended readings has a lot more information. It's just a dollar ninety nine and um two messages came out three messages came out for you tauruses so let's see what your messages are we have for the month of june <clears throat> success with work success success is coming with work there's going to be a lot of work if you have a business there's going to be successful um situation if you're dealing with things so, with our target figure you're going to be successful um, you're trying to find the strength within but you will be successful okay so um, if you have a business have faith and hope in your business it's going to be um, good and there is definitely a situation where some of you are finding in an inner strength to deal with people in our target or people in power so be aware and aligned with that energy that is coming in for you guys so okay let's go in and see that was for someone out there i don't know who it is i hope it helps so let's see what's coming up we have four weeks and you have the energy of the heart supporting you in the first week success is coming for you tauruses whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring definitely um the first week is going to be fantastic the energy of the sun is here this is positive this is positive alignment of energies a lot of positive situation is going to be transpiring in the first week for you tauruses look out for the weekly readings and try and pick up the full moon readings from may because you will receive more information okay there's a lot of information in the full moon reading and so and i'm doing this reading on the full moon i was just looking at the moon it's a blue moon um and today is the um ooh, the octane Ooh, i say 18 and what came out the energy of the moon <laughs> i was speaking about the moon um okay this moon is the illumination of something in your life there is the illumination of something in your life it can and it's going to be very positive okay because this is not a moon with enemies and even if you have your enemies you're so illuminated you're so positive you're standing so high so bright um that you are defeating your enemies just by just looking at them that is powerful that is powerful you Tauruses you have the energies okay here we go the hermit came in and the energy of the hermit in this month of June is going to show you 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 Tauruses your enemies who they are but you're going to be realizing that you are um, you're standing in your power you Tauruses so if you notice they're they're looking at you but they can't reach you you know um, whatever the situation is is that um you're going to be seeing your hidden enemies they're coming out you're going to be seeing your hidden enemies because it's as if someone is going to be coming up to you and say hey be, be, be careful of this person because you're not aware of who this person is okay so there are hidden enemies that is going to be coming out there is a situation with a lovers the last week it's going to be good a lot of you could be connecting if you are married this is going to be very wonderful because we're going to be seeing the situation that is coming out I'm seeing a lot of connection the first week and the last week is a beautiful beautiful for you Tauruses the middle week has to do with emotion and emotional situation that has to do with people who are working against you but this last week is very positive and we're going to be seeing how is it going to be affecting you guys okay whatever is happening you guys are going to be victorious and successful okay so if there was situation that was 
people try to work against you or there was some imbalance that was transpiring for you Taurus is definitely um, you are going to be coming out of this now the first week is a fire week for you Taurus is the second week is the energy of the moon hidden enemies but you have no thing to work worry about these people because it's as if um, these people are now under control it's as if they can't uh, affect you it's only that in the third week people there is information light is information the hermit energy is someone or some a situation coming in to let you know about people that was working against you for week is going to be extremely extremely beautiful and I want you to understand that you guys have a, um, a positivity that is coming in the energy of the Sun is really positivity that is coming in let's see the energy of the Sun and the moon what is that telling the Taurus is in the first and second week energy of the Sun and the moon is letting you Taurus know that there is multiple opportunities out there multiple doors of opportunity that is about to open up okay so whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring you're going to be receiving message that whatever has been happening or whatever that has been stuntering the growth of you to um tauruses there is multiple opportunities um that is going to be opening up for you because um you are going to be taken down and not only taken down but it's as if by knowing who is working against you you're you will be able to align yourself in the positive and proper energies going forward the energy of the moon and the hermit um, you are dealing with uh, you have to make a decision there is a decision that is coming up that you have to make so you could be dealing with a cancer and um, a Pisces is coming in to let you know that this cancer has been working against you for a very long time it could be that you're in relationship with a cancer and a Pisces is going to let you see the truth about this relationship and you're going to be making a decision because it's as if information is coming in and it's definitely a relationship that you were in you could be married to this person this cancer and realize that um, maybe it's not the right fit or whatever it is you could be in a um, a business situation with the scans and realizing um, the energy of the moon is illuminating something that you have to make a decision about the um, ooh, money congratulations this is a new deck and you guys are the first one to bring out the money energies and you Tauruses are business people okay you Tauruses you, you you work on the money it's all about the money you Tauruses will let go of love and choose to work for having a financial stability and you guys whoever is married whoever is in a relationship money is going to be coming at you okay money and it's as if unexpected money the nine of Pentacles with a lovers um, a family could be passing away and leaving you a lot of money a family could have passed away and leave you a lot of money and it's going to definitely come out in um, this um, this month and it's going to someone is going to be letting you know about this situation that someone has passed away and left you a lot of money what is the energy of the moon for the Tauruses you young men um, between the age of 18 and 45 young people not young men it's a feminine and a masculine between the ages of uh, mm, uh, 17 and 45 you are about to find out that there were some hidden enemies because it's as if the illumination be aware watch your backs you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 watch your backs watch your backs the hermit is coming out to um, um, let the Tauruses be aware of something what is it the hermits are coming out to let the Tauruses be aware of money <laughs> you Tauruses you Tauruses listen definitely the nine of pentacles came up and you know there is a, there is 
someone or your spirit guides is going to show you how to make a lot of money your spirit guides are going to be working with you to help you to make a lot of money whatever is happening some of you could be adjoining in collaboration with 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 another soulmate soul family um, twin flame and you are going to be making money okay the outcomes for you oh God. <laughs> okay your burdens are over you Tauruses whatever your burdens was is over um, a lot of you Tauruses is, is going to make a lot of money in um, June whatever the situation is you're leaving June sitting pretty well on a lot of money you Tauruses Wow check out the extended readings you Tauruses because a lot of you are going to be leaving June sitting tight on your money Wow beautiful beautiful energies okay so what exactly the moon and the hermit is saying to you guys is that you have to make a decision because there is money to be made there is unexpected money that is going to come in it's as if they're saying let go of the excess make a decision choose um, your relationship or choose a relationship or making money this is a beautiful outline and you guys bring out the first money you are the earth sign and this is a new deck and for the rest of the people no money no money energy came out I was beginning to ask myself what is going on in the month of June and you guys are the first earth sign and this is a month of the um, the balancing where the Virgos are um, working in the in the and behind the scenes and the Virgos are going to be showing you who your enemies are or who were your enemies because it's as if they can't reach you anymore okay but the Virgos are going to be shedding light Virgos and Pisces or scorpion is going to be shedding light to let you know because some is either a soulmate or a twin flame or as a family member is going to let you know who was working um, against you so as we look at the first week the first week there's a lot of openings and opportunities that are going to be coming in for the people between the ages of 18 and 45 especially at work okay so the people between ages of 18 and 45 especially at work a lot of new opportunities are going to be coming in for you guys so as we move forward and we're looking at the second week the second week is that you're going to be seeing your hidden enemies there's a lot of opportunities is going to be coming out but you have to make a decision because there's so much opportunities that is going to be on um, here for you especially for the young people but you have to make a decision there's a lot that is happening but definitely you have to make a decision okay um, so and it has to do with money it has to do with money it has to be with business It's opportunities coming um, that is going to make you financial stable um, the energy in the third week is the energy of uh, it's as if your spirit guides is going to be showing you a new way of making money because the hermit is definitely showing you and could be telling you because this is how it is it's as if the hermit is saying to you your spirit guides because the hermit comes up as spirit guides or earth angel saying hey there are multiple way of making money you don't ha always have to be working for people but you can be working for yourself and by helping others and you're going to be making a lot of money and if you choose this route this is what is going to be happening for you so this is what the hermit is coming in and said make a decision are you going to stay in a job that no longer serve you or you're unhappy with or are you going to be taking the lead and going on your own because that way you will be making a lot of money um, a lot of you young people um, there is money to be made and um, a lot of you you young people are going to be um, receiving um, the help to start something uh, if you're a business person and that sort of a thing the energy of the lovers is here with the nine of Pentacles now unexpectedly some of you who are married um, are going to be um, 
deciding to start a business together and this business is going it's going to be a lot of work but this business is you're gonna be sitting pretty afterwards okay so it's going to be a lot of work but um, you're going to be sitting pretty so you'll be working night and day but this is what a business is if you decide to start your own business this is what it's all about it's about working nights and day um, to build something which is going to be leaving you pre sitting pretty well on a lot of money okay it's a lot of work but you're going to be making it um, it is a month of work for you guys okay it's definitely a month of work that is coming in mm. but it's as if you guys are building strong for the um, a strong stability if you're looking for a house you're looking for some place to start your business you're going to definitely find this place it's going to be coming up for you it's as if someone is going to be ending it on a platter it's as if you're saying oh you know I was looking for a place to rent and the person say, hey I have the place do you want to um, that sort of a thing some of you are definitely going to be um, buying new houses uh, and some of you are definitely could be getting a marry unexpected money is going to be coming in from family that as uh, um, inheritance is going to be coming in let's see the energy of the Sun the seven of cups and the moon the energy of the Sun the seven of cups and the moon a lot of you are going to be very happy in your family life a lot of good connection in family life a lot of you are going to be completely connected with your family life and happiness and joy is going to be returned so if there was um, if there was in the past some really um, horrible situation in the family this is going to be changing and uh, happiness and joy is going to be returning in the family the moon the two of Pentacles and the hermit what is that message is saying to the Tauruses okay it has to do with the king of cups so some of you and that was what I was saying about Pisces cancer or scorpion some of you could be dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion 45 years and older this person could have been the person who is blocking um, and it could be a Pisces that is blocking you from moving forward unknowingly maybe this person is not even aware of what they're doing and uh, um, some of you you this person was um, your uh, um, uneaten enemy and not knowing it okay it could be a business partner it could be a bro brother it could be um, a brother-in-law or that sort of a thing but definitely you have to make a decision whether or not you want to go forward with this Pisces cancer or scorpion person because it's as if someone is going to be coming in to let you know that this person has been blocking you for quite some time the hermit the nine of Pentacles and the lovers what is that saying for the Tauruses there is a new start so this is wonderful so if you were married some of you could be also um, married and has been working together for quite some time and you decide to branch out um, alone this is giving you a start um, you people who are married money is going to be coming in people who um, are in business relationship um, this there is a definitely a new start so some of you who are in relationships um, could be with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, there is going to be a new start you you too um, your financial um, stability is going to be so powerful and so good there's definitely money coming in seven of cups a lot of opportunities is out there for you young people but you have to make a decision so a lot of opportunities because there's a lot of um, um, worries you have no idea which direction to take there's there is there's so much things to do and you have no direction you have no idea and no direction to take so there's a lot of thoughts going up in your head you have no idea what um, move to make what decision to make um, this is playing out for you Tauruses and especially you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 
making a decision the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles really you don't need to make a decision so you're dealing with the queen of one some of you are in a relationship with an aries leo or a sagittarius this could be also a mother figure that you're carrying a lot of their burdens so be aware of who is this person this person could come up and is coming up as a mother figure and it's as if she always want money or you're dealing with a woman that is a um, Taurus uh, see I told you about the house and here it is because um, if really if you need a house the money is going to be coming in if you need a business or if you need financial help to start a business it's definitely going to be coming in at work you're going to be having a strong foundation you're going to be connecting with the right people there's a lot of work that is there in this month but definitely you guys are going to be coming out good new love is also here for you guys in this month so the energy of the lover and you might be meeting someone who is a twin flame or a soulmate in the last week the energy of the lover is here and it's definitely a really positive month that is coming up so to align the energies and to see some of you um, who are in new relationships you're feeling as if this relationship is a burden just give it a chance because it's going to work out check out the love readings when they come up they should be coming up after these videos okay so definitely there is a new start in your financial endeavors in your business your business is going to be good you're going your 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 business is going to have a, a, a stable groundwork after the month of june it's as, as if you're working with on your business and this is going to be um, bringing a groundwork after some of you were in a relationship with a um, a Pisces cancer or is a, a cancer and this cancer was in a relationship with an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius woman and she's really old and bitter whoever is dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius this person is really bitter and some of you are seeing the truth about this person and you're going to decide it could be a mother-in-law it could be a sister-in-law whoever this person is she's really bitter really sad really bitter bitter person some of you are going to decide to, to try over have a new start with this person this person is all about money okay this is an older person this is a person four five years and older and she's all about the money and if there was a situation where you were out of this relationship somehow in this month she's going to want to realign and return in your relationship because of money so be aware what you what you are doing definitely there is a situation about home life a situation that was uh, um, you know not in alignment at home this is going to be balancing out in this month as a matter of fact you guys are really having a beautiful beautiful um, month um, and it's, 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 it's going to be very wonderful and very positive whatever the alignments of energy um, with family okay so let's go ahead because we're using the energy of the Buddha wisdom there is two cards you have to choose one cards because this is going to be your energy vibration for the month you're going to be receiving two other decks and it's the same way you have to choose one of these cards if you choose card one um, it is the positive energy of the she century mystic and it says um, intensive practice yield great reward and this if you choose this um, card it's telling you just work hard and what you're working on because it's going to bring you a lot of rewards in your life so if you are working on a business and you find that it's a lie it's okay push on door because it's going to be helping you guys just push your through this energy it's definitely going to be helping you if you choose card number two it is the princess man the right okay and it is the first wife to the Panna sun blast it is sometimes love changes the course of life and it's definitely definitely if you are choosing this card it has to do with the energy of the lovers where someone could be returning in your life an ex an ex-husband or ex-wife could be returning in your life because it says that sometimes love changes the course of life okay and if you're deciding um 
I, I don't think you guys had really break up I just think that you were so busy so tired and that sort of a thing and because of love the power of love is going to be changing something in your life new love is definitely coming in so expect that also if you're um, looking for a relationship new love is definitely going to be coming in then we have the energies from your spirit guides so and if you choose card one or card two card one is number 29 is 11 um, this is the energy of see the big picture it's a giraffe spirit so call upon the giraffe spirit to help you to see the big picture okay so you're working with the giraffe spirit and call upon the giraffe spirit he's much taller and higher to see the big picture before you even see what is about to happen so this is going to be really super positive for you guys so if you choose the second energy is number three um, is the connection of the body mind and soul grass of the spirit take a leap of faith grass of the spirit take a leap of faith so some of you in love take a leap of faith some of you in business take a leap of faith some of you who wants to, to a position at work take a leap of faith it is going to happen if you want to buy a house the opportunities or lease a house the opportunity is here it's going to be happening for you guys as we um, use the energy of the ascendance master remember you can only choose one card if you choose card one you have the energy of number 22 you can't break it down this is good it is the energy of the unicorn which is one of my favorite favorite um, um, card I connect with the unicorn energies and as you go through the month whatever is happening whatever is transpiring just keep on saying I connect with a unicorn energy they are going to be coming in and helping you okay this is why I'm always using the unicorn cards if you guys see if you choose card um, two this is number seven and it's the fire dragons and I love working with the fire dragons because they clear that negative energies and I'm going to read this one because the fire dragons are the fourth dimensional element and most of us is moving to the fourth dimension they can access and transmute and transmute um, every um, vibration that the energies the angels cannot reach so the fire dragons if you feel that there is negative energies in your house and around you or in your aura you can call upon the fire dragons and ask them to clear your aura of lower energy and to clear your house and seal your house off of uh, um, lower energies okay so the fire dragons um, are here for you guys to work with because you have business use the fire dragons to also clean your business so call upon the fire dragons I invoke the fire dragons to clear my energy my part my house my car everything and seal it off okay so that nothing that is not of love or light can't exist so Archangel Gabriel's overseeing Tor and it's a fire dragons you are asked to send out fire dragons um and you know tor is the supervisor of tone to consume negative energies in places and in your aura and then ask archangel gabriel angels to replace the lower energies with a shimmering diamond of pure light call upon the fire dragons to transmute any stuck energies into your aura and uh, to lighten up uh, your aura at a higher frequency dimension so that you can radiate uh, an enthusiastic only pure life i now invoke the fire dragons and this is very good um and i need to do the unicorns because i do the fire dragons and the unicorn energy is when you think about the unicorn your frequency raise and you attain to that you are tuned to them these pure white seven dimension um, ascendance forces are touching you as you read this card or as you um, listen to this message they have come to you because you have a soul desire to serve humanity or this planet bathe yourself into their um, energy and they will give you the divinity of confidence and strength to do what is right other people will sense this and respond to it unicorn grant wishes to the pure of heart so ask them to bring you something significant to you now 
I connect with the unicorns wonderful wonderful messages you Tauruses have received I want to wish you guys a wonderful positive um, month please like share these videos if you want the extended and you want to um, receive the extended messages please connect with the link below the full moon reading is out there's a huge full moon today is the blue full moon and I'm taking and I'm doing this reading um, please leave a message I will love you guys so much namaste until next time